Hey there and welcome to our kitchen. I'm Jenny and this is Lauren and we're two of Festival's Mealtime Mentors. Today we're sharing a great recipe to help you start your day off right. Yeah, that's right Jenny. Today we are making breakfast quesadillas and they're not just like ordinary breakfast quesadillas. We have a really fun spin that we're putting on these quesadillas today. Yes, I'm really excited. So you can probably see, spoiler alert, apples. apples. <laughs> We're adding apples to our quesadillas, but they pair so nicely with some of the other fun ingredients that we're adding, and we think you're really going to love them. Yeah, so let's start off with the base of our quesadilla. We've got eggs here, um, just six eggs, so really needs a crowd. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give these a quick whisk and then add in just a little bit of low-fat milk. Um, so while Jenny's doing that, I just want to point out that, like she said, we're using six eggs. Um, but you could definitely just make this recipe to make one or two quesadillas using two or three eggs. Um, but something that we like to do is use all six eggs, make the full recipe, and then any extra quesadillas that you have, you can actually freeze them. Um, or even if you're going to eat them that week, you could refrigerate them. But making it really easy just to heat up quick in the morning in the microwave um, so you can take them on the go or just eat them really quick at home um, before heading off to work or school or whatever it may be. Yeah, and who doesn't love a really easy grab-and-go breakfast? Yes, I think everybody does. <laughs> All uh, right, so I'll go ahead and give these to you. I'll take the whisk out. Perfect. So I'm going to add these to our pan. Our pan is nice and hot, um, and I've already sprayed it with some nonstick spray. Give this back to you. Um, so what we're looking for here is we're going to kind of let our eggs set. We're going to let them cook um, kind of on the outside, as you can start to see. Um, and then all I'm going to do after they cook just a little bit more is I'm going to take the spatula and just kind of move them around. Um, we're not really scrambling no. them. Or they're more of um, like, like an folded. Folded or like kind of egg patties almost. Yes, so they fit nicely into our quesadillas and stay in there and don't fall out yeah. everywhere. So the next thing we have to do is get our tortillas ready. We just have a few whole wheat tortillas here and I've covered them with a damp Viva paper towel and I'm just going to put them in the microwave for 20 to 30 seconds to get them nice and soft so we can fold them and they won't break. And you could use whatever types of tortillas you'd like. Um, we recommend like a whole wheat one. There are lots of different varieties. Um, we're using an eight inch tortilla. Um, makes a really nice size um, breakfast. Um, you could use larger if you'd like a uh, larger quesadilla. So I'm going to kind of start pushing our eggs around here. Just getting them into that nice fold. And the nice thing about the folded eggs versus a scrambled egg is that it stays together in the breakfast quesadilla and doesn't kind of fall all over the place. Right, yep. And it's really quite easy to do and they cook pretty well. Um, the other thing with the eggs too we want to make sure we don't do is overcook them. Um, then they'll get kind of rubbery and they're not going to um, taste as good in our quesadillas. And this is another really great recipe that you could make with your family at home. So get everyone involved. There are so many different steps and it'd be fun to get the kids involved in the kitchen too. Oh yeah, definitely. And who doesn't love breakfast? All right, so as you can see, we kind of have our nice um, folded pieces of egg in here. I'm going to kind of just cut them up a little bit. And they all look good. So we're going to put these now in our clean bowl to use to assemble our quesadillas. We're going to use this pan next. It looks pretty clean, um, so this is what we're going to use for our quesadillas. Yeah, and if you do have some leftover egg in your pan, you can always just wipe that out with a towel. But let's go ahead and assemble these. Yeah. So we've got one tortilla down. I'm just going to put a little bit of Dijon mustard. And like Lauren mentioned at the beginning, this is kind of another nice twist on the breakfast quesadilla. It has a really a lot of great flavor. Yes, and everything pairs together really nicely. We've got the Dijon. Um, next, we're using some turkey. Slice of turkey. So this is just deli turkey. Adding a little extra protein. Yeah. Um, then we're going to add in a piece of our egg. Get a nice one here. Perfect. And just a little bit of shredded cheese, because who doesn't love cheese? Yes, and we're using cheddar, which, again, pairs really nicely with our um, apple slices that I'm going to add here. Thinly sliced. You did a nice job slicing these. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. And then one la last slice of turkey. I'll go ahead and fold this over and 
back into the pan it goes. Yes. We put this back in our skillet. And it'll take about four to five minutes each side to cook. We want the tortilla to be nice and brown and crispy and also to make sure that cheese um, melts really well in the quesadilla. All right, so our quesadilla is nice and brown. Everything is nice and melted. So we're gonna pop it out of the pan. So Beautiful. Slice it up. Doesn't that look so good? It looks super good and it cooked really quickly too. It did and this is like the perfect portion I feel like for a really nice filling breakfast. Um, but it's also really balanced. We've got lots of protein. We've got fruit in there with the apple. Yeah, and you can really do whatever you want with this. You could yeah. do ham and Swiss. I bet <gasps> would be really that would good. Be so good. Keep that apple in there. Or, I mean, you really could add like a pear or another um, fruit in there as well. Yeah, lots of different variations. So really make it your own. Use whatever ingredients kind of float your boat. Exactly. <laughs> All right, let's cut this up and give it a try. Yes. Looks very nice and hot. So. Yeah. Ooh, this looks so good. Though. Yum. Mmm. I just love the apple in here. Yeah. It just adds such a fun, different twist to like a traditional breakfast. Definitely. The, the apple and the mustard are probably my two favorite components. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> well, we hope you give this fun twist on breakfast a try. And for more recipes and resources from your mealtime mentors, visit festfoods.com.